Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Camel Guys Detail Garage. So in the previous video, I actually showed Taylor how to clean his undercarriage, wheels, and tires. And now it's time to tackle the X-Ray Jeep Gladiator. Yeah. When was the last time you cleaned your Jeep? Dude, it's been like four weeks, probably put 2,000 miles on it of both dirt and highway miles on it. It's wow. pretty dirty. Wow. So we're going to take the easiest way to clean your car using a fresh washer, foam cannon, and our two bucket method system. So. One of my favorite foam cannon attachments that I like to use is a Torx Nubby is because it doesn't have that super long wand. Got it. Especially you have like intricate details, like you have these KC lights. You don't want to be too close with your wand and accidentally hit them and break them. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're also going to be using our Chanel wash mitt. We have two different size Casey's. Casey. Why do I call you Casey? Taylor. We have the big mofo and the regular standard size. Got it. You could be the mini one. I'll be the bigger I'll one. Be, right? I'll be the small so one. So with these, with this is a Chanel wash mitt. I really love them because they're like noodle-like. And yeah, it's super soft. It's yeah. super soft and encapsulate all the dirt. And it, whenever you go out the bottom of your bucket, we're actually going to be putting a dirt trap at the bottom. So whenever you dunk your mitt, wash mat at the bottom, you're actually releasing all the loot, oh, the grime from your wash mitt. Got it. So you won't become sandpaper and you'll scratch with your paint. So to begin with, we'll actually remove our foam cannon to the back, our Tough Mudder, and our Bug and Tar. And I'm going to teach you how to insert a dirt trap properly. So this will okay. be yours. So you always want to insert it at an angle. So you want to get air trapped at the bottom, and then you push all the way at the bottom. And just like that, Easy. you already have a filter on your water. So what the dirt trap does, it traps all the dirt that your washman has, and it traps at the bottom of these cones. So I don't know if you check, checked it out, at the bottom of the dirt trap, there's these cones. Oh, it's like little funnels. It's like little funnels that actually trap all the dirt and doesn't let it rise back up. Got it. It also has micro brace on top. So it could be easier to scratch, uh, not scratch. So you can rub your wash mat at the bottom. Clean it. Yeah. So we'll push it back down. And now it's time to set up our foam cannon. Okay. So the reason why I also picked two buckets is mm -hmm. because we have one for rinsing and we have one for washing. Got it. So whenever you wash your bucket, you always want to have a soap bucket. Okay. You go, you go into this bucket, you go to your, you go to your Jeep Gladiator. Sure. And then you come back after like two to five scrubs. You come back to your clean bucket, rinse, rinse out your wash, bucket, your wash mitt, and then go from there. Got it. So on your Jeep Gladiator, we'll be using the Tough Mudder. The reason why I love Tough Mudder is because you say you go off runner, right? Yep, exactly. So Tough Mudder has properties that won't allow mud to stick as easy, and it'll be easier, way, way easier to clean off. That's perfect. All right. So we'll twist this cap off. You want to open this up for me? Yep. Make sure the seal's not on there. All right, it's cool. No, you can could, you could put the spout Ooh. back on. And you're going to be applying one to two ounces in tear. Okay. If you don't know how, how much that is, yeah. just give it a, a good squirt. Perfect. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right about there. All right. Awesome. We'll put the, t the cap back on. Easy. And one thing I love about the Toric foam cannon is it comes with this type of seal, mm -hmm. this plastic seal. So it's plastic on plastic. You will never strip off your bottle. Yeah. It will never break on you. It's very easy. Whenever you want to use a foam cannon, you never want to shake it up because oh, okay. if you shake it up, you'll be causing foam in here mm -hmm. and the mixture won't actually mix. So just move it back and forth or even Got upside it. down. So now this is set up. Let's set up our wash bucket. Okay. Like I said, this will be our wash bucket. Add an ounce in here. Okay. That's good. All right, so we got, our, we got our wash bucket, we have our foam can set up. Now, before we begin, let's go ahead and rinse down the whole Jeep Gladiator okay. to rinse down the lo all the loose grime in the bridge. Yeah, all right. All right, Taylor, so as you see me, I started rinsing from the top to bottom. The reason why I like rinsing from the top to bottom, we always recommend it, is because you, you never want to work double. Like I always told you from, from the wheels. Right. Start from the top, knock out, knock out all the loose grime and debris. Okay. and then just work your way down, all right? Okay, so we're just trying to rinse all the dirt from exactly. the top to the bottom. Yeah, so start okay. off on the roof and then work your way down. Okay. Um, also, I went ahead and rinsed down the Jeep Gladiator from this side, and you guys can see that the bugs are still stuck on there. So that's why we're gonna be using bug and tar remover to remove it. Got it. So let's start rinsing it down. We'll, get to, we'll tackle the exterior. Okay. We'll be removing the pressure washer tip, and we'll be attaching our foam cannon. That's a quick release also. Got it. So easy. Same exact thing. You'll want to start from the top to bottom. Okay. So let me just show you real quick and then I'll hand it over. Perfect. Top to bottom. All 
right guys, as a quick reminder, you always want to start foaming from the top to bottom and always foam at an angle so it could be a lot easier to foam. Got it. Did you see it was a lot easier for yourself? Yeah, it was a lot easier working at an angle uh, pointing down. How'd you feel with the snubby? It felt, felt great, yeah. All right, so now, so now it's time to scrub it down. Okay. Perfect. So if you come over here, we'll put our pressure washer at the bottom. Let me just unattach the foam cannon just so it won't get damaged. And since we already went ahead and have soap in here, let's just activate the suds real quick. Okay. Let me just attach the pressure washer, tip back on, and we'll go ahead and activate the suds. Good. All right, so let's, let me just adjust the dirt trap. And this is actually your, your wash mitt, Perfect. and this is mine. So what you're gonna wanna do is Put your washman in there. I'm sorry, I'm taking up all the water because oh, it's pretty good. big, but. And then you'll come at the top of the car. I don't know if you're reach because I'm pretty tall. Yeah, I'm, I'm six feet, all right? I'm I'm sure. So you always want to go in straight lines. Okay. Go in straight lines, go all the way down, keep going. Cross. Cross, go down, and then you come at the end and you wipe off. Man, that was almost romantic. It was kind of romantic. So. You can go back to your rinse bucket, put your washman in here, scrub out the bottom of the dirt trap, put your washman outside, and rinse it off. I'll get the right side, my right side, your left side, and you'll get our left side. Okay, got it. All right. So now, Taylor, we went ahead and finished rinsing down the whole entire Jeep yeah. Gladiator, and you've seen that the bugs didn't come off. We're right. gonna go with something that's a special. There's a specialty soap okay. that's just to, specifically for tar and bugs, Got which it. is bug and tar remover. A little bit stronger. I almost dropped it. You seen that? Yeah. So we went ahead and diluted it six to one in our spray okay. bottle. So we're gonna walk over to the bug section, and what I like to do is leave the car a little bit wet, just because has a little bit extra lubrication. Spray my wheel wedge. The wheel wedge could also be used on wheels to clean it up to like apply a wax, but it also okay. has a nice bug side okay. to it. So just spray my wheel wedge, go to the bugs. It doesn't matter if you start from top to bottom, like I always do. I like starting from top to bottom. So I see bugs right here, okay. just start scrubbing it side to side. Okay. And easy as that, they just start coming off. Got it. You see that? Yeah, that comes right off. It comes right off. So I'll get my side and I'll pass it over to you. Perfect. Look at that, it just comes right off. And then do you like to let the bug and tar remover sit on the vehicle for a few seconds or? Yes, just let it sit out for like five to 10 okay. seconds. So go ahead and try it. Okay. Do you go ahead and spray it onto the bugs and spray some onto the wheel wedge? Like that. Spray some on that and just scrub side to side very gently. Okay. You, you actually don't even have to have pressure. I'll grab that from you just so it won't fall. Oh it's yeah, very, it comes right It's off. very, very easy. So now, it's gonna, you're, you're no longer gonna have bugs, the bugs aren't gonna edge into your paint, and it's gonna stay looking fresh. That's great. Look at that, just came right off. All right, so before this, I'm just go ahead, go to my dirt trap. We have a little bit of water in there. Just scrub it out, just so I get all the loose, get loose bugs, out. yeah. And just scrub it out, look at that. It just comes right off. Yeah, that comes out way easier. Also guys, bug and tar remover could be diluted in a bucket or it could be diluted in a spray bottle. Me personally, I love having a spray bottle just because I could simply just squirt it on there, go with my wheel wedge or even a bug, bug sponge and just scrub it out. How easy is it? It's great. And then after we finish cleaning all the bugs, we'll go and rinse it all down and then we'll dry it up. Perfect. Yeah, the bugs just wipe right off with this. And then you're forgetting a little bit right there. Let me just give you a little. Yep. Right there. All right, guys. So now it's time to dry your Jeep Gladiator, right? Yep. So go ahead and open up your towel. We're actually gonna be using the Miracle drying towel. It has a nice plush side. Look how big it is. That's great. Cover up your whole entire Jeep. All right, before you go to drying or anything, we recommend taking off the tag off your towel. Okay. The reason why, there's a tag right here. The reason why, we just rip it off. The reason why we like ripping it off or taking it off, how you guys want to call it, is because if you guys be dragging that tag all over the entire vehicle, you'll be scratching it and you'll cause throw marks. So the proper way to dry it is you can either open it up or close it up. Since I'm just going to be showing you in a small side right now, I'll close it up, put it at the top, and just 
dragging one motion. Got it. You never want to go in circle. Same exact thing. Always treat it like if it was paint. If it's glass, treat it as, as if it was paint. Got it. Straight lines at all times. So go ahead and try to get this bottom part. Perfect. And just go in one direction. It's okay. You can come back and just get the... All right, brother, I think I'm good. Awesome, it looks great. What do you think? You know, I love it. I think it looks really good so far between the way that the tires are dressed up and the way that the rest of the Gladiator looks. I love it, it looks awesome. Awesome, so where can people find you? You know, if you guys go, wanna go check out our YouTube channel, you get to see this thing off-road, uh, see how it accumulated some of those scrapes and bruises underneath, go to our KC Highlights YouTube channel. Awesome, so if you guys wanna pick up any of these detailing products, stop by your local detail garage or check us out on our website, camelguys.com. And it was fun working with you, Taylor. Yeah, it was awesome. All right, guys. guys we'll us. see you guys next time right here at the Detail Garage. All right, it's a wrap.